Hey everyone, Dan out of here. Welcome to another episode of Detroit Speed Tech Talk. And today we're in the depths of Detroit Speed manufacturing to show you how our Detroit Speed tubular upper and lower control arms are made. So with the bolt-on tubular upper and lower control arms, our application list includes 1967 to 81 Camaro Firebird, 1982 to 92 Camaro Firebird, tubular lower control arm only, 1978 to 88 G-body platform, which includes your Monte Carlo and your Buick Grand National, also the 1964 to 77 A-body platform, which is your Chevelle, your Malibu, your El Camino, your Pontiac GTOs, your Buick Skylarks, and your Oldsmobile 442s and Cutlasses. With the A-body platform, that list goes on and on. So once we take a certain amount of time to do all the engineering work, design and development, as well as testing, now we're ready to manufacture our control arms. So once we have everything designed, we get the tubes in here, we actually bend them in-house, and we lay all the components into a jig, including a billet ball joint pocket. A lot of the ones in the aftermarket get welded together, which can give you stress cracks and make it not as strong as what we do. So again, we'll put this in our jig, with all of our bent tubes and TIG weld the entire upper control arm. And then it's ready for powder coat. As you can see, we do a in-house stainless steel cross shaft that we machine here, along with these caster tuners. And these are cool, we give you some extra additional ones to kind of set your caster in different levels. And the way these are built, there is no metal to metal contact. So we start with a stainless steel washer that goes on, followed by a Delrin washer. And then we press in this aluminum hard coated bushing that keeps that centered, because obviously when you weld some of this stuff, sometimes that hole shape might lose its shape. So the bushing is gonna kind of reinforce that and keep it nice and round. Then we add the flanged Delron bushing, our beveled stainless steel washer, and then we put the nylock nut on, torque that up, then we put it in the mill and actually drill a hole through there, right through the cross shaft and the nut, and install a roll pin. That way it ensures it can't back off. Once that process is done, we put the Zerk fitting in, grease them, which as you can see, the flange Delrin bushing actually has grease screws in there to keep it in there. Then we put on the bump stop, add the Detroit Speed sticker. We use a premium upper ball joint that we install into the billet ball joint pocket. Then when that's done, we QC it and then it's ready for packaging. So moving on to the lower control arm, it's a similar process to the upper control arm where we get the tubes here, we bend them in house. We actually do a stamped lower spring pocket that gets incorporated as well as these laser cut gussets. And of course, once again, we use a billet 1018 steel ball joint pocket. It's actually clearanced up front so you can run some large brake rotors. So once we have all the components, we lay it in the jig and precision TIG weld every aspect of the lower control arm. Then at that point, it gets QC'd and then we take it to the powder coaters, get that nice gloss black powder coat on it and bring it back for assembly. So moving on to the assembly process of the lower control arm, it's a little quicker than the upper just because there's not as many components. But what we have here is once we get it back in powder coat, we have flange Delrin bushings that go on each side along with a zinc plated crush tube to help with corrosion. Then we use another premium ball joint that gets pressed into that billet ball joint pocket along with the hardware. Then at that point, we slap some stickers on it with a bump stop. It goes through our QC process and then it's ready for packaging. So one of the more intense processes during the manufacturing is our QC department. So basically every time something comes in the door, right from receiving, it's getting QC'd. And then throughout every step of the process, we also have a break in our operations so that QC can take a look at every part as it goes through every step of the process. That way, we're sure gonna get you the best quality component for your vehicle. We understand that the cost of the control arms are on the more expensive side of the market. However, with the attention to detail and quality that we put into it, you're gonna get what you pay for. I mean, you can see from the components that we use with the highest quality of premium parts as well as all the in-house stuff that we do, you're basically getting handmade control arms built for your car. So with Detroit Speed Components, you're definitely gonna get what you pay for. And you can see by this TIG welded lower control arm, how robust the design is and how durable it'll be. So we wanna make sure we build you the strongest control arm we can, that'll be the last set of control arms you need to buy for your car, with maintenance at a minimum. Thanks for watching another episode of Detroit Speed Tech Talk. If you have any questions, please call our sales and tech department at 704-662-3272 or visit us at DetroitSpeed.com or any of our social media outlets.